Well, hello, folks. Thanks again for tuning in right here on Hook, Line, and Singer. I am your host and resident singing fisherman, Bob Sellers. I'm so glad that you're with me today. I'm headed to a local pond. I've been going there for a long time. Got some dear friends that own this place and are gracious enough to uh, let me fish pretty much whenever I want to. So uh, thank them so much for that. And uh, we're going to be targeting bass mainly today. Hey, y'all, come along and join me. Let's catch a fish. You know, it's a beautiful day, beautiful spring day in Alabama. Well, I missed one. Another one. Trying to get it on camera for y'all. That's all right. little bass. Got the skunk out of the boat anyway. You wanted that, didn't you? Just going to ease up this bank. See if we can get another chatterbait bite. Oh, there's a snake. Tell you what, you don't bother me and I won't bother you. Deal. You can't make a deal with the devil. Got a point. It's always good to fish a point or near a point. Not real sure why, but bass love to hang out there. Either that or all fishermen throw at points so your odds of catching one are higher. I have caught some monster brim up in this little cove here double fluke rig now. I showed how to rig that up in previous video. I've got a lot of confidence in this rig. Well, because I've had a lot of success with it. Let's see what I mean? Little fish. He liked it, didn't he? soon as it hit the water. Now this is interesting. He got the he got the top one instead of the back one. You never know which one they're gonna get, but the odds of them getting one of them are twice as good as fishing a single fluke. See ya. I'm fishing an underspin now with a Cabela's I think four inch swim bait on it. This is a Lose BB1 Pro reel. Very nice reel. One of my nicest reels, I would say. It's an 8.0 to 1 gear ratio. The rod is a Quantum Prism. This is a seven foot four inch heavy action extra fast fish. fish out here in the open goodness gracious he ate that try not to hurt him Felt something. Might have been that. I don't know. Try it again. Just a moment ago, 
fish of the day so far at least. Three, maybe four pound bass. And I turned the camera off instead of on. <laughs> uh, it got the back uh, fluke on this double fluke rig, but it hit the first one. The first one was all messed up, so it had hit it and didn't get caught, but it got the back one. That's what's really neat about this rig too. The weather's changing. It's clouded up a little bit. Wind is uh, coming from a different direction. I just saw a fish. Must be bluegill. We got a double fluke rig. And for crappie, we got a double jig rig. Double jig rig. Boy, I'll patent that. That sounds so good. That catch every fisherman I know. That's brim. I just had one hit this. Put me on a beetle spin. Now, let's see what it is. One hit it. Another one hit it. Didn't get it. That was felt like a good one. Had another hit. If we can get a hold of one of these folks, we're going to have some fun. Oh, I missed one. I just want to show y'all what real fishing was like. Well, I'm determined not to let that fish skunk me now. There he is. Oh, oh. I got you. Nice little bluegill. Now can I get rid of you? That's a tiny little mouth to have to wiggle around in. There we got it. Pretty little bluegill. Something that'd be one of those great big ones. There are some big ones in here. Here's a comforting verse from Isaiah chapter 44 and verse 22. It says, I have blotted out as a thick cloud thy transgressions, and as a cloud thy sins. Return unto me, for I have redeemed thee. Are you redeemed? Do you know when we get to heaven, when Christians die and go to heaven, We'll have a brand new song to sing, a song that the angels cannot sing because the angels aren't redeemed. We have been redeemed. I hope and pray that you're redeemed today. If not, you get in touch with me. You get in touch with a trusted friend, a Christian friend or pastor who can speak with you about your eternity. God bless you. I've done pretty good fishing today. Or it being an east wind. Oddly enough, the bite has really slowed down or turned off practically ever since the ever since the skies clouded over. Can't ever tell. There's something. That was a that was a bass. You can get a hold of anything on a beetle spin. Spray a little oil of anise on there. Doesn't usually require a whole lot of work, a lot of action. Just kind of let it sit and bring it up, let it fall a little bit. There's something about that presentation that drives bass wacky. Fluke in general is just a great bass bait. If you're not doing any fluke fishing, you are probably missing out on some fun, fun action. This is also weedless. It's another benefit of the fluke. Was I have the hook skin tucked. Skin tucked like I would a worm. See the way I've got this resting right now. 
I better be ready as soon as I get this slack. A lot of times that's when they'll get it. Well, it took a little work today, but we got us a video. <laughs> I, uh, I regret turning the camera off for the biggest bass of the day. I need a manager. I need a, a gaffer. I need a, a producer, uh, a director. I need a director. That's what I need. <laughs> no, I'm kind of learning this, figuring this out as you go. And, these little cameras, uh, you reach up and you turn it on and you turn it off and sometimes you forget if you're turning it on or you're turning it off. Uh, like I said, I had to work for them a little bit today. Uh, kind of surprising. I, I would have thought uh, the bike would have been a little bit better than it was. Well, you never know. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hey, thanks. Appreciate you watching. Thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing uh, to the channel if you haven't done so already. I hope you'll do that. I'm in this to shine a light in a dark world. Just use this as another platform to help get the gospel of Jesus Christ out first and foremost. Secondly, just to share my life, uh, what I do for a hobby with all of you hopefully uh, show you something that you, you enjoy along the way maybe even teach you something and, uh, hey leave your comments I'm sure I can learn a lot from some of you guys and uh, thirdly it may sound kind of silly but I'm kind of doing this as a, as a as a legacy for my kids maybe a hundred years from now when I'm long gone to glory somebody will be able to watch these and say hey there's dad or granddad or great granddad whatever the case may be who knows what the lord's got down that road but uh, anyway it's a labor of love for me it's a lot of work that goes into it i've learned that for sure but it's absolutely a joy to do be out here doing what I love the most and also bringing uh, that into your home or into your phone wherever you may be watching so anyway I hope uh, that's something I can say do or show or be a blessing in some way to somebody out there and if I can entertain you along the way then I won't apologize for that either just remember uh, God loves you so do I take care until next time, I'll catch you later.